Hello friends, welcome to the world of recipes. I'm Vaishali and today I'll be showing you Kerala special recipe that is appam. In Kerala, they have chain of restaurants which are serving varieties of appams. Chicken appam, meat appam, tomato appam, mint appam and what not. These appams looks like dosa but the taste is very different. Today I'll be showing you basic recipe for these appams. Quickly see the ingredients. 2 cups of rice soaked in water for about 5 to 6 hours. I am using uh, idli rice here. You can use any variety of rice. Boiled or cooked rice about 1 cup. Here also you can use any variety of rice. Freshly grated coconut 3 4 cup. Rapid rising yeast 1 tablespoon. Salt 1 tablespoon. Sugar 1 tablespoon. Let's start with the recipe now. Don't drain out excess water from this soaked rice. I have drained out all the water from this rice. I am going to add this cooked rice and this freshly grated coconut and mix it together nicely. Now I am going to add this <coughs> fresh water, about 2 cups, I have added about 2 cups of water and now I am going to grind it in a mixer for a fine paste. After grinding this batter is ready, this batter is way thinner than dosa batter. Now we are going to mix this rapid rising yeast and sugar together and pour in warm water in this just around 2 tablespoons mix it nicely as this is rapid rising yeast we don't need to cover and keep it for 10 minutes we can directly add this to the batter and give it a mix. I am not adding salt now in this batter as it is going to restrict fermentation process. We need to keep it rest overnight. Or about 8 to 10 hours in a warm place I have used a sufficient big bowl here as the batter is going to rise significantly so it, it will need space so it's better to use bigger bowls or bigger vessel for this we need to cover it now cover it nicely and keep it overnight for fermentation after overnight fermentation now let's check the batter Ooh. you can see all this bubbly appearance here it's because of fermentation there is only air inside give it a mix give it a mix till it forms a smooth batter if there are any lumps you have to dissolve them there are lumps As you can see this batter is very watery this is the way how it should be now almost all lumps are gone now add in salt to this I'm adding about one tablespoon of salt now let's start making up pumps for making up pump we need to use this a special type of skillet it having this non non stick coating from inside and it's up around at the bottom as you can see here and this has the two handles you 
first we need to hit the skillet the temperature should be high when you add batter to this the skillet should be hot you can check it by adding some water this is the temperature what we need for to make this appams now let it dry completely now take a ladle of batter and just add in the center and quickly holding this handles we need to spread the batter and this is the way we should spread it i cover this and let it cook for about 1 minute after the minute you will see the edges are brown and it's living from this skillet separating and this appam is little thicker in the middle that is how it should be now take this out make one more and let some batter gather in the center Now all these appams are ready. These appams can be served with many Kerala curries, basically which have coconut in it. So why not try it with the goan fish curry? Goan fish curry recipe will be up shortly. I have chicken stew recipe which is best served with these appams. If you want to see chicken stew recipe, please click here. Thanks for watching this recipe. For more recipes, keep on watching World of Recipes. Thank you.